Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this brand new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Now if you've um, followed the previous door tutorial where we were talking about a box trigger um, and going in there and actually opening the door just through the position of the character then you can kind of skip the first part of this video where I'm going to be running through just the matinee again. If you're new to this video and you've never done anything to do with the door or animated the door and all you want to do is animate the door opening then please do stick around. As I'm going to be running, through, running you through all the steps required to be able to do that. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a matinee because we need to actually create the animation for the door. So we're going to first of all select the door. That's very important. Then we're going to go into matinee and we're going to add a matinee. Now once you're in there, just make sure the door is selected still because uh, it made these selects. So we're going to right click in the tracks uh, panel just here. We're going to add a new empty group. So I'm just going to call this uh, door one. And then I'm going to right click on that track and I'm going to go and add a new movement track. Now this is going to be as at a length of 5 seconds uh, with the active timeline being 1 second just here with the green. So if I turn on my snapping which is just over here, the snap, so if we just toggle that on, we're going to now snap this across, just this here, to 2 seconds. And then we're going to go on the green one here, we're going to drag that across as well. So what that means is the active timeline is now uh, two seconds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my timeline slider all the way to the very beginning. Okay, and then we're going to go and click on to add key. That's going to set a key, that's going to set the start position of this door. And now all that we have to do is drag the timeline uh, slider just here all the way to the very end. I'm going to hit add key. But straight away, I'm going to go into my viewport, just here. I'm going to press the E key to rotate, or you can click on rotate just up here. And then I'm going to be rotating this to an open position. So as much as I want that to open, that's probably okay. And then I'm going to simply close this window. So that's done. Now, if you want to play it, you can test it as well. So you can basically go on to play. There you go. That's the animation. I'm going to close that. Done. Okay, so now what, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to blueprints and we're going to open level blueprint. Okay, so within here, a couple of things that we need to do. In fact, before we move ahead with that, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into project settings. So within there, we're going to go down to um, inputs and this is where we can actually set the input um, for our E key. So Currently I've already done that, so if I remove that I'm going to show you how you can set that up. You basically need to expand action mappings and then we're going to go and hit the plus just next to that. So that's going to open up a new action mapping. We're going to be calling that interact and then below that where it says none, so select a, the key value, we're going to go on to keyboard and we're going to go on to the E key. So we're just going to click on to E. Now, once you've got that, we can simply close this window down. So that's done. Now we can go into the blueprints, open the level blueprint, and we're going to simply uh, right click in here and type interact. So this is the uh, action event. This is actually relating to the key that we just set up just now. So if you click on that, it's going to be an input action interact. Now below that, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to first of all, in our viewport, we're going to go and create a box trigger. Okay, so the box trigger is going to control um, the area that your character has to be in to enable this interaction to occur. Okay, so I'm going to go and make sure it's hovering over both the sides, so make sure I can see it. So that looks okay, that's going to do for now. Um, in fact, I might want to make it a little bit wider like that, there we go. Um, and then I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to go on to on actor begin overlap. Okay, so that's basically saying that anything that comes out of here is going to be when the character overlaps this actor. And then we're going to add another one on actor end overlap. So that's just over here. So we're going to add that as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be dragging the pressed um, node out. Okay, so when we press the E key, which is the interact button, we're then going to go and add a gate. Okay, so a gate is um, like an on off toggle basically. So we, when it's open, so meaning when you press it, it's going to actually 
enable this function. So when the character is overlapping with the trigger box, it's gonna enable that. And when the interaction button is not pressed, um, it's gonna be, basically the gate's gonna be closed, therefore it's not gonna be performing the actual function. Okay, so obviously it takes a bit of time to get your head around these things. I'm trying to explain it as best as I can as well, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and now expand the exit just here. We're gonna put in flip flop. So flip flop's quite a funny name for it, but effectively, effectively what it does is it's gonna to toggle between a function or an execution of A and B. So every time you press E, it's gonna alternate between each one. So if you have it open, then when you press E, it's gonna close it. And if you have it closed and you press E, it's gonna flip it to the other function, um, which is gonna be opening it, okay? So again, let's just get through this and uh, we'll uh, try, I'll try and make it as easy as possible to understand. So just to make our life a little bit easier, we're gonna go into our uh, world outliner. We're gonna click onto matinee actor. Yours might have a different number prefix, but it should be a matinee actor. I'm gonna drag that just so I can see it and place it just near the door. The position isn't too important, but I like to keep it in front of the actual object that it's re relating to. And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add a reference to matinee actor two. So for me, it's that one. From here, I'm gonna be dragging out a reverse and also a play okay and then i'm going to be putting in the a node linking that up to reverse and the b node to play let's just drag these a little bit closer there you go so that should be the complete thing uh, what i tend to do also is just to clean things up a little bit i'll select the whole lot and if you press c on the keyboard it will put a box around it which you can change the color of and stuff like that i'm going to call this door interaction with e key okay there we go i'm going to compile that i'm going to close this down this little panel here and then i'm going to go in and test this so if i go in nothing's going to happen but if i press the e key the door's gonna open. Press the E key again, it's gonna close. E, 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 E. So this is what the flip-flop is actually doing. It's actually um, opening and closing. So every time I press E, it's gonna flip between playing it and reversing it, playing it and reversing it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, then please do hit the like button. Uh, also subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna be adding a lock mechanism. So you need a key um, to open up the door. So stay tuned, like I said, keep watching and I'll catch you all next time.